This is my detailed review of the new Love Struck Expansion Pack trailer. I'm going to go frame by frame and see if we can catch everything new that they showed off. So starting with this floral shop, I'm not sure if it's a rabbit hole or if can actually go inside of it, but very cute. It looks like a new sultry kiss. So it started off kind of like a peck and then she went in for a little bit more and spying a new floral back tattoo. I'm really liking the shirt. Also having that little cutout in the back so that you can actually see skin details and tattoos is helpful because a lot of their clothes end up covering up pretty much everything that you want to show off. So definitely enjoying some of the new cast items. For male sims, I mean, it's always, you know, kind of a struggle. The new fountain kind of reminds me of the one that we got on the beach of Tartosa from the My Wedding Stories pack. This one looks a little bit different though with the butterfly decor and different kind of flowers. I like seeing the couple that are up front kind of cuddled up. That's really cute. Not sure what the girl on the left is doing, the girl in the red shirt by herself. Maybe she's just soaking in the rays, but it's a little distracting because <laughs> she doesn't have anybody with her. So I spy with my little eye. It looks like a new guitar in the red there. Very cute. Matches the new world. It's a little weird seeing cars in the background when we still don't have cars in game in The Sims 4. Not quite sure if that's just like dress, like set dressing for the world or what's going on, but disappointed to see cars being teased yet again. Um, I'm loving the little hair clip, butterfly hair clip it looks like she has in her hair. It's kind of cute. I see that butterflies and flowers are a big trend in this pack. Not sure if that's part of the world. And we're going to, we haven't really seen a lot of the world yet, so it's hard to know for sure. But it's definitely very bright, very colorful, very bold. And I like that for The Sims. Now this outfit, oh my goodness. And I love seeing this red top with like a lacy bra undershirt kind of thing coming through. It's very cute. It's giving 2024 fashion, which is new for The Sims 4. Usually they're like three or four years behind on what's trending. Um, I also think that's new hair, new earrings, but I can't be 100% sure. I'd have to go through create a sim to double check. But you see that butterfly symbol again on the park bench behind her? Seems like this town is based on butterflies. But I haven't actually seen any in-game. <laughs> I see they've chosen the Gen Z style as a way to show off a heart, but it was kind of cute. And I like seeing that maybe that's a new flirting option or a new type of introduction. Or did he just do that autonomously? I'm um, just looking at her outfit a little bit more. It looks like maybe she has a new style of nail or nail polish, maybe a new watch. Not quite sure, but it's very flattering for her. And then I'm... Not quite sure if they know each other already based on this clip, but it seems like their first interaction's kind of neutral. So I wonder how you can flirt in public spaces without knowing the other sim ahead of time. But blowing the kiss and she, her being able to reject it was super interesting because it seems like maybe they didn't know each other beforehand. It looks like a new bar, and I don't know if that's the new bar that actually comes in See Dad. Amarana, or if this is just for the trailer, but I like the new bar and all the new LED lights and the color scheme and the bar stools, like all that looks new. I'm also really liking these butterfly earrings and this dress that she has on, this yellow or orange dress with all the flowers on it. Really sticking with the theme, I can see that butterflies, floral, and bright colors is pretty much all of build, buy, and cast because we keep seeing this over and over and over again with our new Sims. It looks like she's dancing with both Sims. I can't quite tell if she's dancing with our main character or not, but is this the seductive dance that you're supposed to be able to do in game or is it a new dance specific to this world? Like we got the cow poke dance from like the game that came with Horse Ranch. It was interesting that even though she kissed both of them, there was no negative reaction. He just kind of, he looked a little irritated by it, but he just kind of moved on. So that was weird. I know that there's going to be a free base game update where they're going to 
make it free for all players to put on romantic boundaries so you can customize your sims experience and see if you want them to experience jealousy or not which is different so cupid's corner seems like we're finally getting a little bit of that where we can see that you're able to choose both the romantic attraction and woohoo preferences which did come in a previous free base game update to the sims 4 that you can set and create a sim you're also able to select what age group from young adult adult to elderly that your sim is interested in dating choose a selfie picture and then choose two traits to show off it is a little bit interesting that you only get to choose two traits to tell people when currently sims have three traits base game and then they can acquire new traits through gameplay if you have growing together they can learn new traits about themselves so not quite sure if you have to tell the truth in these traits or if you can just pick from the whole list of traits um, and it also looks like you're able to scroll through your matches and again you see their picture and two of their traits which I don't know if that's going to be accurate or not. So the not shared option that you see there next to the age of elder, I think that means they're not actually in the game, that they're from the gallery, which is one of the options. Your Sims can either match with Sims that are in game or Sims from the gallery. I'm a little concerned about that though, given how the gallery doesn't always work. I'm not sure if this is a new way to primp in the mirror or not. I also love all the photos. That are attached to the mirror so currently we don't have anything like that in game it looks like these are actual pictures she's taken maybe from different events or photo booths of her two kids because they match the picture frames that are on that little ledge beneath the mirror that would be really cool if we were able to have pictures from like dates use the photo booths that came in high school years and the bowling alley packs to try to take more pictures i personally don't take a lot of pictures in my game but this would actually give me an excuse to take more pictures. The decor, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, the apartment does look nice. I don't know. You know I just got to see other swatches to see if it really matches anything else. Um, I like this bouquet. I'm not sure if he got that from the floral shop that we saw earlier in the trailer or if that's something that your sim just does autonomously when they greet their date because he had just matched with her from Cupid's Corner. So maybe this is just how you meet meet people for the first time off of the app. Hopefully it's something you can plan and be intentional about. Um, the penthouse looks interesting, especially for a Maxis build. Um, possibly a round pool, but I, I couldn't tell from the clip that quick. Now this is one of the new woohoo types. You can see the two sims in the corner going into like a like a hall closet kind of thing. Um, it kind of reminds me of the woohoo option from Get Together, which also had a make out and woohoo in a closet. So in that way, it's a little bit recycled. So I'm not 100% impressed by that. And then I don't know what's going on with this wallpaper. The penthouse is very colorful, <laughs> very vibrant, but it doesn't really match. We got a green wall with a tiger print wall. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I like her her green dress or blue, maybe. I like that everything's very see-through, very lacy, very sexual. It's like this feels like an expansion pack for adult-based Sims, for sure. Like even the woohoo seems pretty steamy. A um, new bar, which is really interesting. I like seeing that it's like it seems like it's a one-square bar, so it's small enough to actually fit indoors in the house. I like the open flowy white shirt that the red hair girl has on. It's really cute. I think the, the decor overall has a more adult theme to it. And it's definitely made to be very inviting. And a lot of like get together type moments. You can see a board game in the far corner. You can see maybe mixed making more mixed drinks. I like the pink chairs. Like it's definitely feels like a, a bachelor pad or like a hangout spot for adults. The feeding each other chocolates, super adorable. So it seems like for their first date, because this whole story is like he's dating off of Cupid's Corner. He goes to her house, gives her a bouquet. They go to a party or a lounge, maybe. I'm actually not sure if this is a house or a lounge. Feeds her chocolates, which is really cool. So in the leaked information, it said that you could take your dates to different locations mid-date and keep the date going. So maybe they start off at her house and then move to the lounge. Who knows? 
but it definitely seems like they had a good time. I love this dance animation where he kind of twirls her into a kiss. I think that's super cute. I like seeing more meaningful interactions between Sims, more playfulness and flirtatiousness. That's really adorable. And the scenery change. So now it looks like they're at, I don't know, is this the rental lot that's in the new world or is this her house again? Now, this was my favorite part. And I know this is raunchy, but the costume box, which is like basically role playing for The Sims 4, looks like it can be as simple as wearing a mask and they have different options for clothing. And I think it's cool that there's both options for female Sims and male Sims. And some of them are really recognizable. And some of them, I wasn't sure what it was. This dance is a little aggressive for me. <laughs> but it looks like she has a Girl Scout uniform. Or some sort of park ranger uniform. Um, and then she's a maid, which is pretty classic. Reminds me of the maid costume from The Sims 2. If you ever played The Pleasant Family. Then she's a firefighter. Which I think firefighters came with the previous pack and had their own little sexy dance. I don't know what that other one is. It looks like a mascot or a Cupid's outfit with the wings on her back. It looks like the mascot from Foxbury, if you ever played Discovery University. But I'm not sure. It's hard to get the... They flash through so fast. It's like really hard to tell. Also, new cam candles in the background on the counter. New little stool to sit on. And of course, the costume box itself. He gets to be a wrestler. For the male sims. And I don't know if it's going to make you. Make this an actual outfit. Or can you just click the box and choose these. But eggplant is also an option for male sims. Which I'm not sure. A butler and then cupid. I think that's super cute. Now the bed in the background looks like the heart shaped bed. From the sims 1 if you ever played that. So it's supposed to vibrate. And it kind of looks like it's giving the illusion of vibrating. On the end table. On the right hand side. It looks like there's a little tray of like. <laughs> jellies and creams and I don't know other sensual items which is kind of cool for decor for clutter also a cute little mushroom lamp on both end caps um, I'm not sure if that potted plant on the wall is new now there's supposed to be three new woohoo times we saw them woohooing in the closet I don't know if this heart shaped vibrating bed counts as a woohoo spot for this expansion pack because we already had bed woohoo prior to this one but still cute. Cuddling in bed is also really adorable. Reminds me of The Sims 2, of course. And then the maid will cuddle up on a blanket is really adorable. Watching the stars, which we already have the option to watch the stars or stargazing while laying on the floor. But it's different to see it like that, the way they're doing it in this expansion pack. Now, when I saw them woohooing under the blanket... <laughs> It reminded me of this thing that was like viral on TikTok a couple weeks ago where it was like two people at a park in New York City who were like caught woohooing in the middle of a park in the middle of the day with like people around them. So that was actually really cute. I like references to things that actually have happened in real life, not just, you know, the fantasy world of The Sims. So it looks like their date was very extensive. You know, they woohooed in the park. Then the next day they're at a, another bar or another lounge playing another board game, but this time with a group of people. So I mentioned in the blog post that you can have group dates, which is kind of interesting. And people are not supposed to be able to bother your sim while they're on a date. So hopefully in a group date, it'll work the same way. Now, this time she sees her partner kissing someone and she reacts. So the first guy kissed, saw his person he was dancing with kissed someone else and didn't react. So this is going to be a part of that new polyamory system that's coming with the new uh, base game update. So it looks like she's the new death, so death by heartbreak. But I don't know, are we actually going to be able to flirt with Grimm? Because usually we don't get to do that. So we'll see how that kind of pans out. Loving these heart earrings that she's got on. New tattoos, which we've seen a ton of those. Totally looking forward to July 25th. Do we see the bearskin rug, but it hasn't been confirmed if it's actually like a part of the woohoo? Or what, like what can you do on the rug? I do have a lot of questions after watching this trailer, so I want to know are there any sort of special moodlets for using the vibrating part of the vibrating bed? Do the roleplay costumes play a part with the turn on and turn off system? What is the new third woohoo spot? Will these new activities that we saw in this expansion pack be something we can add to Love Day? So if you own the Seasons expansion pack, there's a Love Day holiday where you're able to do certain romantic activities with other sims. And so it would be nice if they could add 
you know, sharing chocolates, giving the bouquet, going on a date, like, you know, trying to change things up and keep it interesting. I didn't see anything specifically that teens could do. I understand that, you know, children, toddlers, infants aren't going to be able to do anything. But are teens going to be able to enjoy any of these new activities? Or is it just going to be young adults and older? But so far, I really like what I've seen. I'm excited in a way because I like the the systems. So that's something we didn't really see in the expansion pack. We saw a little bit of Cupid's Corner, but I want to see more about like the turn ons and turn offs. I want to see more about the romantic boundaries, which is coming to base game. I want to see more about the romantic satisfaction and the romance skill. Cause those are things that are going to play kind of in the background in our games. That's something that you're not going to really spam through. What they showed us so far are just activities, dates and casts and build by, which is all great, but I just need to see a little bit more about the systems because what we look for, or at least for me, what I'm looking for in an expansion pack is replayability and actual gameplay features. And so far, I have not seen that from this trailer. Not to say that it's not in the game because the trailer can't cover everything. But I'm not seeing where I would want to play this multiple times in a row. Like, yeah, the coolness of seeing throwbacks to The Sims 1 with the heart-shaped bed is cute. And that will be the novel experience to see that played out in the game a couple times. But that's not going to make me go back to The Sims over and over again. I'll just do it a couple times and that will be it. So they're going to have to show us a lot between other gameplay trailers and the developer live streams that they usually do a week or so before the pack comes out to really help us understand the systems that are going to drive the game. Growing Together was successful because of the systems, not necessarily because of the things we saw in the trailer.